Hello and welcome to a short video on using callable flows to leverage hybrid cloud scenarios in IBM Integration Bus version 10 from Transformer Tech Inc. First we'll go over a scenario, then we're going to jump into the integration toolkit to show the message flows and we're going to test everything out. Here you can see what we have currently in our on-premise environment. It's just a simple flow that calls the database and returns the result to a queue. Now let's look at how we can leverage this in a hybrid cloud environment. As you can see, we still have the same flow in the environment as we did before, and we've added some more infrastructure around to expose that on-premise flow to the cloud and the external clients. So let's walk through the processing of this new hybrid integration flow. First thing I want to highlight is the agent-to-agent -agent secure connection over the firewall using an IIB switch server to communicate. This is a secured connection. So we have a client that's using SOAP UI to invoke a web service, and this web service is what's actually going to call the callable flow. So when we call the web service, it's going to call the callable flow across the firewall. That callable flow is going to write to the same queue that we've been using in our database flow that we've had on premise for a long time. The database flow is going to pick that message up off the queue. It's going to call the database and put the message back on the reply queue. Then our callable flow is going to pick up that message and send the reply back to the invoker. Once the reply is back to the invoker, the web service is going to complete and send a reply back to our client. So as you can see, we have end-to-end -end processing of a message securely over a firewall using callable flow. So now we're going to hop into the toolkit, we're going to look at some of these flows, and we're going to test everything out. Okay, so we're going to hop into the integration toolkit. You can see here we have the flow that we've had on premise for a really long time. It's pretty simple. We have an MQ input node that goes to a Java compute node that calls the database and gets back customer information. We modify the MQ header to set the correlation ID, and we have an MQ output node. We've had this in our environment for a long time on premise, and any application that wanted to use it could just call this flow by putting a message on the input queue and getting from the output queue. So we want to test this really quickly just to make sure it's a real flow to show that it's been working. We're going to use rfhutil. So we can show the XML that this pulls in. Actually just gets a customer ID, in this case it's ID 41. So we can go ahead and write that to our queue and read from the reply. And we can see here that we got some customer information back. So how we can leverage this in a hybrid cloud environment is use a callable flow to call this externally or from a cloud or anywhere outside of our firewall and we can do this in a secure way using callable flow. So let's take a look at our callable flow. We can see here it's actually quite simple. We have a callable input node that writes to the same queue that the other flow pulls in from and gets from the output and then sends back a reply. This is actually really simple. It should only take a few minutes to get going in your environment and it's a secure way to send messages from outside your firewall into your firewall to your on-premise databases and applications you already have. Okay, so now that we've seen the callable flow, let's look at the callable flow invoker that actually calls this to see what's going on and how we're leveraging it in our environment. So we'll hop over to our cloud and like you saw in the diagram, we have a web service call that's going to invoke the callable flow and sends back a reply. So again, this is very simple to get callable flows going in your environment, and you get to secure messaging through the firewalls using these flows. You can do a lot of different things with these, and it's really the input to your on-premise systems from the cloud or any external system. So now we're going to run a really quick test where we use SOAP UI to call this exposed web service. It's going to send a message to the callable flow, which in turn is going to send it to the on-premise database call that we've always had in our environment and return back the output. So if we take a look at SOAP UI, it's actually really simple. We have basically the same exact XML message, except this time it's inside of a SOAP envelope since it's a web service. Same customer ID, so we should be getting back the same results. So all we have to do to do an end-to-end -end test of our callable flow is hit the start button here, and this should return results back pretty quickly. This is going to go out and call the callable flow, which in turn goes to our on-premise database call, sends everything back securely over the firewall, and as you can see, we have our results here exactly what we expected, so everything was successful. Thank you for watching this video on using callable flows to leverage hybrid cloud scenarios in IBM Integration Bus version 10 from Transformer Tech Inc. Make sure you check out our other videos on our channel and go to our website at transformatech.com. If you have any questions or you want to talk about bringing hybrid cloud into your environment, you can send an email to info at transformatech.com. Thank you very much.